NBA season in the City of Angels. Tonight, the Clippers greet the Minnesota Timberwolves. State in their preseason opener. Andrew Wiggins, Taj Gibson, Carl yeah, Anthony. You just know every night you're going to get great effort. You're going to get production. Goldenberg and the Clippers and their whites will have the basketball now. They'll have to start the fourth and final quarter. A jump shot and a basket by Kevin. His career has been as a small forward. Now as a power forward, he is a true stretch four. That's right. Wiggins let it fly and knocked down the three-pointer. Andrew had a monster game here last year. 40 points in this building against the Clippers. By his earth. Bingo plus one. Yeah. Clippers running out. They want to score in transition. Shoot early, score yep. early. That's right. Bingo. Harris gets the long rebound. He brings it in transition, initiates the offense. And that's what you like about it. You don't have to wait to give it to the point guard. Like what? Thorns in the Clippers side. Taj Gibson plays like an all-star against the Clippers. Wherever he is, he just kills the Clippers. Seems like he's been in the league for about 20 years, too. It's all the size right, right there. And what you're going to see him evolve into is have that mid-range game, but then also stretch it out to line. Chicago. Interesting comments by him today, wasn't it, about how most players would have retired by now. You know, with his Gibson. Gortat was there, but Gibson just keeps on keeping on. Those long on. shots over bigger guys. Ten with shot clock. There's Gortat. All five Clippers starters are in the scoreboard. Nice play by Beverly, though. Draw the big out, pocket pass to Gortat rolling. Rose looks like Rose there. There's a lot of up and down, let's say, so far. There has been a ton of scoring. Yeah. Basket. 55 or more fouls Whoa. called in. And so they're really making it an emphasis that guys, you can't stop guys from moving, cutting. Oh, me, oh my. He will really yeah. be something. That's right. That it's, looked comfortable. It did. It did, but like a lot of rookies, so that. they don't spend Any of that stuff. You are working on your game and spending a lot of time behind the three-point line is a big part of that. Got that one rejected by Wiggins. It's more difficult for the other team to guard you if you have a couple guys who can get you 25 on any night. Bounds inside, gets a nice off bounce. In 30 minutes of now, the first explain, day. Explain what that means. So I work guys out before the to get them ready to, to work out for teams before the draft. So I have them for six or seven. Similar to Gallinari, but he's bigger than Gallinari. And he's only 22. Yeah. And his presence defensively, Towns, a willing defense package. I would say defensively he might not be where, where you would like him to be, but rebound and blocking shots he is. Me, oh my. Gallo saves it. He's doing everything. Yeah, he is. Gilgis Alexander again. This is the shot. Here comes a Koji. Oliver is not shy. That'll be three plus sure, I one. I just think there have, there's deficiencies with guys like that that I guess you don't get a long-term deal. It's just like guys like Lou Rowe, and so they don't get paid like those guys, and they bounce around a little bit more. Into the corner for three. There you go. That's the a fellow you also have. Yeah. In the pre-draft camp, right? Data Bates, the up I had this year. Um, unfortunately, slid the draft. His strength this year. Will, will only improve. He's going to be in the league for a long time and a great kid. Big Ten Player of the Year. Them a little bit casually, uh, not even as far as job interviews or anything like that. I just thought these are guys who kind of have the answers, and anybody would want, I think, to be on their side. But yes, I don't know that all the answers are going to be there in the first week or two weeks. Um, but I just, you know, I'm, I, to be honest, it was a, a little bit to utilize those. Let's go back to your, to your old job for a second, Lee. If you were writing a story about these Clippers. No nonsense. Yeah. This is not a circus. This is a place you come to play really good, hard basketball every night. I never recall a time in, in all of these years with the Clippers is about not disregarding the present at all, but about really having a magnifying glass on the future. And that's vital. A year, a year ago also, in terms of just that identity, that that really kind of hard scrabble identity that you like with that guy right there yeah, in the right. environment where I think players can be themselves, where they can play free, but where there's also maybe some 
you know, some of the last few years, and the Warriors are showing it, is yeah. you got to have superstars to win. So are you saying laying down a foundation that will attract superstar players? There's a lot of talk about the relationship with he and Butler and Wiggins and Butler and Harris for three, bingo. I think it's going to open up towns. And That's a good, powerful move by a big, powerful man. I think the players will adjust. They typically do. But it's just a freedom of movement thing, especially in the NBA. Go to Clippers.com slash season tickets for more information. The casual NBA, casual Clipper fan doesn't know who Jordan or Todd is, but the hardcore. In the West. You're saying no. I'm s uh, yeah, you're right. I screwed that up. Man, Sorry, Ralph. Man, it's a preseason, man. I haven't done a game since. I think 47 might. It's somewhere in there. The one thing that's interesting is LeBron's now in the West. So it makes the Clippers tougher who you play more, but it makes I think them. that kind of stays the same. I mean, Boston's really improved. I think Toronto's going to be a tick less than they've been. Milwaukee's better, but just playing in Washington, Ralph. We played the T-Wolves. Garnett's first game ever as a T-Wolf. Wow, he took game. off. The right wing would be inflamed. They had to land again. And, I mean, it was bizarre. I think Gallo is, is really putting on a show. Then let me show you what you missed last year. Right?